how many nanometers are in one centimeter. Nanometers in one centimeter. So this is now working. We're actually working in the metric system now. This is the metric system. So we kind of have like a, we have a chart here, right? And actually, they actually have a chart here. So I'm going to kind of use this chart to help us, uh, will help us find this. So we care about a nanometer and a centimeter, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to re copy this chart here. It says unit here. Um, and we have the conversion. And this is in meters. So we have a CM here or one, one centimeter is equivalent to 10 to the power of negative two meters because a hundred centimeters equals um, one meter, right? So that's good. And then a nanometer or uh, NM equals 10 to the power of negative nine meters. So therefore what we care about is how many nanometers are in one centimeter. So we care about this conversion here. We're converting from these two units together. So whenever we have how many nanometers are one centimeter, if we're going, um, if we're going, uh, uh, if we want to go up, up, up the chart, we can see um, if we're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, you're going to divide. If you're going larger to smaller, you're going to multiply. So this is from a, this is from a, uh, from a smaller unit to a bigger unit, right? How many nanometers in one centimeter? So what we're going to do is we are going to simply uh, take the difference of kind of these two units here. So for example, I have uh, this is one one meter equals a hundred centimeters, right? And then one meter here equals this is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this is uh, one billion, one billion nanometers, right? So what we can do is simply we can simply just divide these two numbers to get how many uh, nanometers in a in a uh, in a centimeter here. So we can say that if I know that uh, uh, one or one one cm, I can simply just divide it. Right, I can just do one zero 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 zero, 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 zero nanometers over 100 centimeters so again i can say that this zero cancels out and this here this here cancels out right this is or no, actually these two these two zeros cancel out here so i'm left with one two three four five six seven eight i'm left with eight zeros one two three four five six seven eight so i have uh this is a hundred million now so one zero zero 100 million nanometers would equal one centimeter. So 100 million nanometers would equal one centimeter. And this here is my correct answer for the solution here. Again, every time we go from a, um, if we're going like, like a scene in the solution here, we're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit. So we divide, we're we going from a, a larger unit to a smaller unit, we multiply. So as you can see here, we have, um, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, this is seven, sorry, not eight. I miscounted my zeros here. One, two, oh no, that was eight, right? No, we're good. This here is eight, eight zeros. Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, good. So. You can say that, so what they're doing here is they're converting from basically centimeters to meters. So it's 10 to the negative two. And we know that one meter equals 100 centimeters, that's good. And one nanometer equals 10 to the uh, negative nine, uh, negative nine here, uh, meters. So one meter equals whatever, one billion, one billion nanometers. And basically what they're doing is they're saying that they're dividing 10 to the negative, 10 to the nine uh, by 10 to the negative two to get 10 to the seven here. So I personally don't like this, um, this method here 
because what they're doing is that um actually no this this is okay this is okay here because they stated that 10 to the negative 9 or so 10 to the 9 is equal to one meter so they're basically converting all the meters and they're they're converting to meters first before they're converting it to back to nanometers so that's what they're doing here so the solution here is correct um but they did two steps they did from centimeters to meters and from nanometers to meters and then what they did was they took these two conversions and then they, uh, they multiplied here um which is the same thing as this is this here is actually divide but they're multiplying by 10 to the negative 2 is the same thing as dividing by 10 to the power of 2. so this here is solution the solution here is correct 10 to the negative 10 to the 7 equals 100 million so this solution here is correct Good analysis.